Welcome to another episode of Night Owl Video. I'm Stephanie. Thanks for tuning in again. Thank you to everyone who liked or subscribed to my channel recently. Um, I just posted a video for Studio 666 the other day. And I hope you got a chance to see that. And as I have been doing for the last couple weeks, don't forget to tune in on Tuesday when I do my cult movie Tuesdays. And this Tuesday I'm doing uh, River's Edge. So I'm pretty excited to talk about that film, and I'll give you a, a lowdown on that coming up on Tuesday. Today, though, just a quick video, uh, a thrifting haul, and some of the stuff I got. Nothing too crazy. Like, some of these are actually pretty lame, but um, I actually um, used to work at a store that sells uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, VHS, comic books, toys, and all that stuff. And uh, I used to work there. Recently, I've been back once, and I might be going back again. Um, and basically, this time around, uh, I'm just doing it very casual. Um, but in exchange for my work, I'm getting some uh, DVDs and Blu-rays instead of getting paid. Uh, maybe some people think that's weird. I don't know. Um, but I think it's kind of cool and uh, kind of an easy way to, um, what would you say, like uh, scratch the itch uh, for my phys physical media thrifting. So... Um, and then some of these other ones are ones that I've just picked up on my own. So um, so that's kind of the story behind this. And a couple of these I actually meant to add to my last thrifting video, but I forgot. So we're catching up on those. And um, I probably, some of these I won't have like great detail on, uh, like including this one, which is The Last Unicorn. It's an animated film um, directed by... Hmm, does not say. That's weird. Oh, oh, it's actually produced and, and directed by Rankin Bass. So I didn't. I actually didn't realize that. I've only seen this movie once, probably about five years ago. My pal Shane uh, let me borrow his copy to watch because he uh, highly recommended this movie. He's really into animation and stuff. Um, so this is a the 25th anniversary edition. I just found the other day out in the wild. Uh, this film stars the voice talents of Jeff Bridges. Mia Farrow and Angela Lansbury from, that's right, Murder, She Wrote. And the songs on the album, or sorry, on the soundtrack, are recorded by the band America. So this is a, like a sort of fantasy, uh, fantasy kind of classic film. Uh, I don't know if it has a, a year on here. I'm getting also to the age where sometimes when they do weird print, uh, weird colored print uh, on the... Uh, on the back I can't actually read it so this little tiny print down here can't see a damn thing uh, this is from 1982 and it's put out by uh, Carlton Carlton Lionsgate I don't know how common this one is I don't know if it's a hard one to find I have never seen this in the two years that I've been thrifting and collecting but um, happy to add it to my collection I do remember really liking that movie um, Probably a good one for like a rainy Saturday afternoon kind of thing. If you're all curled up and you got your warm coffee. Speaking of which, hmm. Having my coffee out of my favorite doggo mug. See, it's two, two dogs that are going to kiss. Speaking of which, I went for a walk today with my best pal Tracy. And we saw a whole bunch of cute dogs. And I even got to pet a couple of them. Don't you? I love that. I don't want to own a dog, but to be able to pet other people's dogs. <laughs> I also saw Hercules. Now, oh, so you guys don't know, when I was working at that video DVD store, there was a, a couple, an older couple who used to come in with a dog. It was a little tiny white poodle named Hercules. And he, I, I got to hold him a couple times, and I haven't seen him for probably about six or eight months. And I saw him when I was driving through a town, and I was like, Hercules! Oh, I miss Hercules. You don't know who Hercules is, so you probably think I'm ra ranting like a crazy person. But anyway, suffice to say, I did see some dogs, and they were cute. The next film I got was uh, Arachnophobia. Um, I got this for a dollar. It was just kind of a, oh, maybe I'll watch this one rainy Saturday afternoon. Um, it was directed by Frank Marshall, uh, produced by Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, it stars um, Jeff Daniels, Julian Sands. And John Goodman, uh, who you can see on the back, right up here. Um, I actually saw this in the movie theater when it came out, which would have been, what, 1990 or something? 
Um, again, what is with the tiny print on these damn videos? Um, I don't know what year it came out. I think it was like 90 or 91. I actually went to see this. Um, I was working at a uh, accounting office doing um, some filing and stuff. And I used to kind of, this is going to make me sound like a really bad person, but I used to go for, um, I used to take more time on my lunch break than I probably should have been taking. And one day I actually, <laughs> this kind of makes me laugh when I think about it, but I actually went and saw this in the movie theater at a matinee on my lunch break. And when I got back, my boss was just like, where the hell were you? And I was just like, oh, I, I got lost. Um, cause I was living in a different city then in Toronto. But I did go see this on the big screen at a matinee on a lunch break one day, and I remember liking it pretty good. Um, this is from Amblin Entertainment and Hollywood Pictures. Uh, Amblin, of course, being uh, Steven Spielberg's production company. Uh, this edition has special features, production featurette, theatrical trailer, uh, Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound, and widescreen. It, I think it got pretty good reviews. Uh, on the back here, CBS said, thrills and comedy, exclamation point. And NBC said, it's great. So, I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of curious to revisit this and see if it's actually, in, if it still holds up for me. Like I said, I do remember liking it when I saw it. Uh, the next one's a VHS. Yes, Prince's Purple Rain. Yeah, how many people out there have seen this film? This was a great one uh, from 1984. This VHS was uh, put together in 1991, and um, this was directed by Albert Magnoli. And of course, it stars uh, Prince, uh, Apollonia, Morris Day, Morris Day, and the time. Uh, if you watch Jay and Silent Bob, you'll get that reference. Um, and the songs, of course, composed and produced by Prince. Um, I actually only saw this movie for the first time. Uh, several years ago with my friend Gary and Janelle. My friends Gary and Janelle. I missed this in the movie theater uh, for whatever reason. I don't know why, because I was a huge Prince fan uh, when this came out, Purple Rain. But I did miss this the first time around. I never rented it, and uh, I just saw it probably about four or five years ago. And I absolutely adored that film. I thought it was really fun. Um, weird, like kind of quirky and weird, kind of like Prince's music. Um, very colorful. Um, yeah, just, just a cool movie. If you've never seen this movie, and like the person at Valley Village uh, I got talking to about this film, they said that um, they have recorded it on their PVR a bunch of times, and their partner has erased it on them before they could get to see it. And I said, oh God, the next time this is on, just watch it, because it's so fun. It's so 80s. Uh, if you love Prince, which I, yeah, I do love my Prince. Um, this is highly recommended. I'm hoping I'll be able to upgrade this to DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, the only copy of Blu-ray that I saw within the last year was about $30, which was a bit more out of my price range, but still, I don't know. Uh, the next two are upgrades for me. Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Uh, like I said, these are upgrades for me. Um, I don't know why. You know, these were in that kind of working work for DVD kind of exchange, so they were kind of like, oh, I'm just going to upgrade them because I can. Uh, I actually pulled out the, uh, where's that one? Oh yeah, like I got this uh, Evil Dead Ultimate Edition, and I also got, my son bought me actually this original, um, this original Anchor Bay one, and um I compared the special features with the with these new Blu-rays, and um, there are some things that are missing. So I guess I'm gonna. It's not really gonna be an upgrade. It's just gonna be an addition to my to my collection. Oh, if you guys look inside, there's the uh, Christmas card that my son got for me when he bought me this movie for Christmas one year. I thought that was so awesome. Thanks, Cameron. Um, yeah, I, I, I do. I, lo I love this edition, actually. This one I just got last year, or the year before. It came with a poster, and it, like, it folds out. There's all kinds of cool artwork inside. Um, there's, I think it's a three-disc. Yeah, three discs. So it's a pretty cool collection. 
not one I see around very often. The poster would fit right in here, but I actually have it on my wall. So, but anyway, I'm getting a little, a little off track. Um, but these are the ones I got. Uh, Evil Dead wanted to. I watched Evil Dead last night. I actually didn't find much difference between the Blu-ray uh, transfer and the DVD transfer. So, but it's still kind of cool to have. And um, I guess the picture was a little crispier, but because that film's so old now, I think it's probably seen its better days. Um, the other Blu-ray I got was also an upgrade for me, and that's The Shining. Uh, this one's still being factory sealed, as Cinema Sickness would say. Um, this one has um, some some features on it, um, including Vivian Kubrick's uh, behind-the-scenes making of The Shining. Uh, although on this one it has optional commentary, so I don't know if that's on the, the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I have some other cool stuff. I see here it has a... Uh, Visions of Stanley Kubrick and Wendy Carlos, the composer, as you may know, is a uh, a trans woman uh, who did a bunch of really cool soundtracks for films. I think she also did Clockwork Orange, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that being included on this edition. Um, yeah, I just thought it might look nice on Blu-ray, a bit clearer of a picture, but I also do have that on a nice two-disc DVD, so I don't know. I haven't checked, compared notes to see what special features are on each. Um, and then these, let's see if there's anything else really cool. Yeah, so the rest of these are very generic. Um, nothing really that too exciting. I got Kong Skull Island, uh, which I do remember really liking. Uh, it's got uh, Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman. John Goodman again. Um, yeah, a bunch of, bunch of people. Uh, directed by Jordan Vaught Roberts. Um, I do, I do enjoy me some big, dumb monster movies, as you know. I did the last, uh, one of the last few movies I saw in the theater was Kong vs. Godzilla. So, um, happy to rewatch that one. I haven't done that yet, but probably in the coming days. Uh, the next one, I know this is probably, actually, let's, let's do a two-pack here. Because these are probably, everybody out there is probably going to be groaning. Uh, this is probably not, the prob might be the worst of the Chucky series. And this is the Friday the 13th remake. Um, I've seen both of these, although I haven't seen Friday the 13th since it came out. Um, but again, these were ones I got kind of free for working, so I just grabbed those to add to my collection. I'm sure I'll probably watch and get rid of them, but who knows. And then the last one I got is one I've never seen before, uh, directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. This is the movie Soldier with Kurt Russell. Uh, in one of these, again, one of these are really annoying snapper cases from the 90s, but um, what can you do? Try to avoid that glare. Uh, it says, uh, somebody from the Boston Globe says, Rambo, Death Wish, and Dirty Harry in Outer Space. So, on that, I was kind of like, well, even if it's just a one watch and I trade it in or give it to Goodwill or whatever. But anyway, I love me some Kurt Russell. Uh, it also has Jason Scott Lee, Connie Nielsen, uh, Michael Chiklis, and Gary Busey. So, hey, can't go wrong with some, some good old Busey. Uh, and like I said, this was directed by Paul Anderson. Uh, I think this is from 1998. This is the 1999 edition from Warner Brothers. Again, the last couple ones I'm showing you here are Nothing too special, just some, some odds and ends that I picked up, but I'm pretty excited about some of those. Um, some of those pickups, the Evil Deads and The Shining for sure. Uh, nice to have those on Blu-ray now. I can upgrade them and maybe I'll definitely be keeping my Evil Deads though because the DVDs that is because some of the special features aren't on the Blu-ray. As far as I can tell anyway, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So let me know what you've picked up when you're out thrifting. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, give this video a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let your friends know that I'm out here doing these movie reviews. I'd love to connect with some more people. And again, thanks to all the people who have subscribed to my channel, given my videos a thumbs up, and sent me some comments. Shout out to Corey in St. John for all your awesome comments. And... Uh, check me out on Instagram, Night Owl Video. I usually do some updates on what I'm doing. And hopefully I'll have a... Uh, well, Tuesday I'm going to have my cult movie reviews this week. Uh, River's Edge, which I think came out in 1986, 
one of my all-time favorite 80s cult classics. And then probably following that, I'll have some more thrifting videos if if the uh, universe lines up and everything goes well. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. And until then, I'll see you in the video store.